Hello, this is Lucia, a geologist from the Nevada Division of Minerals, here today to talk to you about mining in Nevada. Mining is nothing new to Nevada. In fact, Native American tribes utilized many deposits dating back as far as 2,000 years ago. A major migration of people swept through Nevada seeking riches in California during the 1849 gold rush along the California Trail. One wagon had stopped to rest and one passenger decided to wash some sand, or pan for gold, in a small side stream of the Carson River. The color he pan marked the discovery of gold and the start of modern day mining in Nevada. This is a picture of the Discovery Monument that can be found in Dayton. From this point, Prospectors spread out like ripples in a pond throughout Nevada, searching for other riches held within the Silver State. The following series of maps show the establishment of mining districts in time throughout Nevada. A mining district is an area represented by a unique suite of produced minerals. We will start the map series in 1860. Orange dots represent metallic mining districts, or those known for gold, silver, copper, and other metallic minerals, and the green dots represent non-metallic mining districts, or those known for other commodities, including, but not limited to, gypsum, ferrite, and diatomite. Mining districts as of 1870, 1880, 1890, 1900, 1910, 1920, 1930, 1940, 1950, 1960, 1980, and finally, our current mining district configuration in Nevada with the total number of districts being 526. We will now look at the current active mines within these mining districts. These are the active mines for 2019. In 2019, there were 33 active metal and 35 active non-metal mines in Nevada. Nevada produced over 4.8 million ounces of gold and 6.2 million ounces of silver along with several other minerals or commodities, including barite, copper, diatomite, dolomite, gypsum, limestone, lithium or magnesium compounds, molybdenum, perlite, salt, silica sand, geothermal energy, oil, and aggregates. Over 14,000 people are directly employed by the mining industry here in Nevada. If you factor in jobs that are indirectly related or induced by mining, that brings the employment number up to over 28,000 people. Most of this employment is concentrated in the rural counties of Eureka, Elko, Lander, Humboldt, White Pine, Nye, and Pershing. The average annual salary for people employed by mining during 2019 was over $105,000 a year. There are several jobs available in the mining industry, some of which require higher education degrees or certificates, and some that only require a high school diploma or GED with on-the-job training. These jobs range from welders, maintenance personnel or mechanics, to scientists, engineers, and managers. It is definitely worth coming back to take a look at this slide to view positions not specifically mentioned here and their educational requirements. Each mine is required to pay an industry-specific tax called the net proceeds of minerals tax on top of normal business taxes due. The net proceeds of minerals tax is allocated to the counties for local enhancements and to the Nevada State General Fund which is then split up between the Departments of Education, Health and Human Services, Public Safety, and Corrections, along with the Nevada System of Higher Education throughout the state. 
So why do we mine, you ask? Well, simply put, we use minerals every day in our lives. Some are used all day long. From your cars, to your cell phone, to the device you are listening to right now, minerals make it possible. Let's take a look at some minerals or commodities and some of their common everyday uses, starting with gold. Every map that will be displayed on the following slides will show where the mineral or commodity of interest is mined or produced in Nevada, along with a picture of the mineral in the upper left-hand corner. But first, I want to make a pit stop to take a look at this graphic. This graphic shows materials that every American born will need throughout their lifetime. The total comes out to 3.2 million pounds of minerals, metals, and fuels. Now that's a lot of materials. If you are in disbelief, note that this number includes materials used to make the buildings you occupy or visit frequently, sidewalks, roads, food, vitamins, vehicles, and much more. The Minerals Education Coalition has lots of information on minerals and how we use them. If you are interested, their website is definitely worth a visit. Let's begin our discussion on mineral uses. Gold. If Nevada was its own gold producing country, it would be the fifth largest producer in the world. One major use of gold is in electronics, including devices like cell phones, televisions, game consoles, and computers, because gold is an excellent conductor of electricity and doesn't corrode. It is also used to make jewelry and for investment purposes. The cell phone, Nintendo Switch, and laptop will show up on every slide where the commodity is utilized to make these items. So be on the lookout. Silver. Nevada is the silver state. Silver is also used in electronic devices as soldering material. It is the reflective coating used to make solar panels. Due to its antibacterial qualities, it is used in water filtration and dentistry. Silver is also used to make the plates found in LED lights. Copper. Shockingly, one of the most important minerals in our day-to-day -day lives. It powers our world through its awesome ability to conduct electricity at a relatively low price. From our cell phones, computers, and laptops, to our refrigerators, lights, televisions, hair dryers, and cars, smart or not, you can thank copper for making them function. Copper is also utilized to make ammunition and for the plumbing in many houses. Lithium. All that is mined is not in the form of a rock. In the case of the United States, only lithium mine, water is pumped out of the ground and evaporated to form a lithium bearing salt that is processed and dispersed across the globe to be utilized in several different fashions. Lithium is used in the making of bakeware because it can withstand high temperatures without melting. It is used to make lithium ion batteries, which are used in electronic vehicles and in many electronic devices, including cell phones, laptops, and game consoles. It is also used for air filtration in spacecraft and submarines, and red fireworks are produced by adding lithium to the explosive concoction. Gypsum, a beautiful mineral with a wide range of industrial uses. Its fire resistant properties make it useful as an ingredient of wallboard used to construct most houses, its thickening and binding properties make it useful in making shampoos, conditioners, and tofu. Also, it is added to plaster and cement to increase the working time because both would harden instantly without it. Limestone. 
most limestone is made from the remains of corals and shells of sea creatures. Pure forms of this rock are used as nutritional supplements that are added to breads, cereals, or as vitamins. It is fed to egg-laying hens because 97% of the chicken egg is made of calcium carbonate, also known as limestone, and it is used to treat acidic soils, enabling crops to grow. It is also used to make cement. Stop and think about how often you use cement. Is your house on a cement slab or foundation? Do you use sidewalks? Do you travel on roads? Or do you go into buildings made up of cement or brick? If you stop and think about how much cement you utilize, you will be amazed. Silica sand, that's right, beach sand or sandstone. This rock is used to make glass. The same glass you stare into on your televisions, cell phones, game consoles, and computers, or out of from your house, classroom, place of work, or vehicle. This same glass also covers solar panels. Silica sand is also used to make porcelain, like the plates you eat off of, in the sink, tub, and toilet in the restroom. It is also used for fiber optic cables, which are utilized for long distance telecommunication or providing high speed data connections, including the internet, which most of us are using right now. Barite. Nevada leads the nation in barite production. Barite is a very heavy mineral because of its weight, barite is used to make playing cards heavier and easier to deal. It gives bowling balls and tractor tires more weight, and it is heavily used when drilling for oil because its weight allows drilling fluids to travel down really deep holes. It is added to fireworks to achieve green coloring, and because it absorbs x-rays so well, it is utilized for medical imaging. Magnesite. Nevada is home to the only magnesite mine in the United States. Magnesite is processed to make magnesium compounds. Magnesium compounds are used to make Epsom salt, to treat water at wastewater treatment facilities like this one shown here in Carson City. They are used as vitamin supplements for livestock and they are used for the manufacturing of rubber and plastic, like the rubber on the bottom of your shoes. Halite, also known as salt. Yep, you eat minerals. Salty popcorn, some salty french fries. Oh yeah, that salt, it's also mine. Salt is also used to make shampoos and conditioners as ice melt and as nutritional supplements for many animals. The last rock we will discuss is diatomite. This rock is soft and very light because it is made out of millions of little fossil skeletons which make it very porous. Its porous nature is why it is used as a filtration agent for swimming pools as well as in the making of juices. Just think, millions of little skeletons filtered the apple juice you may have consumed this morning. It is also used as a natural pesticide for both plants and animals as the diatomite dries out the exoskeleton of the insect, causing them to die and ridding users of their pest problems. Well, there you have it. A quick summary on minerals mined in Nevada and some everyday uses for them. We hope you have learned something that you didn't know before starting this video and have a new appreciation of how we use minerals every day. If you have any questions, send me an email at the address listed at the bottom of this screen. I would like to thank you for taking the time to watch this video and have a great day.